Hello again, everyone, and welcome back. Uh, it's good to be back, guys. So today, as you clearly see from that lovely silver box there, that nice standard box, we've got another Victorinox. And let's just pop this puppy out and get to it, shall we? There you go. Look at that. Is that not just gorgeous? Woohoo! That's absolutely gorgeous, that colour. So in case you're new to my channel or you've never had a Victorinox before, we'll go through the process. Nothing else in there. So you get the, obviously the knife and you get the instructions. Okay, guys. So basic instructions. There you go. Let's open up on the front first. All right. You can pause that if you wish. How to open a can. There you go. Some top tips and maintenance and such like and, and warranty. There you go. Okay. And look at that. Just, just beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, this knife's got a bit of history. Well, not this particular knife, but the... Um, because my original Victorinox Huntsman is, uh, it was stolen back in the day, many moons ago. And I was going to get the red cellar door again, but I thought I'd get something different, you know. Uh, but look at that. Is that not just gorgeous? Never have a problem with Victorinox before. Oh, just gorgeous, guys. Blade centering, of course, look at that. Bang on down the middle, right between that spacer. Even though it's slightly offset, rather. Okay. This, of course, is the original multi tool. If anyone says differently, tell them they're wrong. Okay. Based on the original, the legendary officer's knife. Welcome, guys, to the Victorian Ox Huntsman. Absolutely gorgeous. This is one of the best all round knives to consider as an option to get, guys. If you're after just one knife, definitely worth considering um, for an all-rounder, okay? Obviously, this gorgeous blue I've got, absolutely lovely. I really like it, but it comes in various colours, combos. Um, you know, you've got the translucent red, you've got Celador classic original red, you've got black, <laughs> you've got wood, you've got camo, you've got tech clear and white. The list goes on, guys. The whole rainbow of colours. Uh, which Victorinox is famous for. So go and, if you want a certain colour, definitely get it sorted. Or you can get one made up from a third party, okay? So, uh, look at that spear point. Absolute classic Victorinox spear point. Fantastic utilitarian general purpose blade. Can do most things, all right? No blade rub, I check it anyway. That's just me. Just a lovely snap on her. Nice positive stop. Good flat blade, that means it's going to be a super slicer because it's sharp behind the edge, or very thin behind the edge as well. So, okay, blade play, none, not on your nanny, never had a problem. It's just done up just right, isn't it? Eh? A nice full four finger, um, so it's nice and comfortable. I've got a tang stamp, the classic tang stamp on the front of the uh, blade there. There you go, Victorinox, Swiss made stainless. If we just uh, pop her over, we've of course on the reverse of the tang, we've got Officer Swiss. Okay, absolutely lovely, really, really nice. Okay, there you go. Um, so, as you may know, some of you, this the actual still is X55 Chromo 14. Now, that is a budget still, a good budget still, so it's easy to maintain, it holds a fairly reasonable edge. Mirror finish, so it pre helps prevent uh, rust. Okay, especially in temperate environments as we are, as the UK is in. Okay, so it's a nice slick action. Like I said, lovely positive stop. Oh, sorry, um, snap rather and stop. Okay, it just, you can, classic, breaks a five. Yeah, and she pulls a five. That's, it's designed, it's engineered to do that, guys. Just, just, just right. Nice uh, stainless, well, steel um, liners. Okay keeps the cost down and what you're paying for this the value for money for what you're getting you're getting a pocket rocket guys <laughs> i mean if you you know i've had most i've had most tools okay um i've been a carpenter most of my life also an electrician for quite a few years and also a trained plumber but that's another story um some years ago as well because i teach okay that's what i do anyway the point is this little particular puppy is nice and clean throughout yes she is just checking anyway Okay, and look at those scales, that electric translucent blue. Absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if the light's picking it up, but I kind of like the see through. I'm back to being a teenager again, yeah? Um, it's just a nice look for me. But also on a practical level, I'm 53 now, so if I drop it and I haven't got glasses on, 
and where is it you know in the, in the woods or something we're out for a picnic or whatnot or on the trail i can quickly see it okay where other colors they're hidden by the undergrowth okay that's the one of the reasons why i've got it guys and it's a bit different so it's nice and clean um, inside nice sure hold actually um absolutely lovely the fit and finish of this as with all victorinoxes never had a problem is excellent it's actually first class isn't it it's just look at it i mean it's engineered guys precision engineering okay fantastic ergos you know very good in the hand overall no hot spots is it sharp out of the box uh yeah <laughs> i've never had a problem with victorinox ever there you go is it sharp out of the box of course it is it's a victorinox <laughs> I have actually one of the, you know, most knives I've never had a problem with. Um, but for Victorinox, never, ever have a problem. There you go. We got 557 stranded paracord eating through that. There you go. I proved my point. Okay. Absolutely fantastic. Really gorgeous. Now, uh, let's see what we've got to compare. Because I know you like comparison. So, we recently reviewed the Spartan. A fantastic little uh, knife. Um Basically, good all rounder for well, yeah, for you know, urban environments. But this is a great little tool. Okay, this has got a few more tools, and it's got fifteen tools, guys. So this is more for if you want an all-in-one. Now I call a, I carry a main knife and a backup knife. But if you just want one knife that more or less does everything, this is the knife uh, certainly worth considering. A great option. Okay. So what we got in the way of tools? Of course, we got this. We got the main blade I just showed you. We got the small pen blade, which is great to have a secondary blade on a knife, okay, for whatever. Um, open up your packages, your, your Amazon packages or whatever, so you can keep that one sharp or vice versa. Use this in emergencies. Up to you guys. Um, it's variable, isn't it? Of course, we got the legendary Victorinox saw. It's a fantastic saw. I've used these on the Victorinox many times. Great saws. Being a carpenter for most of my life, I've used many saws. Japanese pull saws, Western pull, push saws, and this is an exceptionally good, strong, robust saw. It eats for it. And it's great to have a saw, especially being a carpenter, on a knife. <laughs> I just I just feel complete with it. It's funny, it's sort of thing, you know, if you're going out on the trail, on a hike, it's just nice to have it, yeah? Anyway, of course, we've got the classic. Uh, here we go, if I can pull it out. There you go. we got the scissors, Victorinox scissors legendary probably some of the best scissors you ever get in the world there you go absolutely eating through that okay and of course paracord <laughs> there you go no problem at all guys okay you, you these will not let you down um so you know if you got a first aid kit on you when i go out to the, on the trail um, in the woods, it's only um, a silly man or woman who doesn't carry a small first aid kit. Because if you've got something that makes holes in you, you need something to fill those holes up too. Okay, um, so always carry one, even if it's a basic one with plasters and whatnot. Okay, and scissors. If you don't have on the smaller first aid kits, you don't have small scissors, then you can use the ones in here. That's the when when I like to use them. Okay, then of course we've got the front pan. Here we go. We've got the classic. Um, can opener okay there you go with a three mil screwdriver and of course two-dimensional phillips or posi head for two um number two okay we've got a nice scraper there as well uh, apart from a very good uh, can opener it's, it's great you can use that for lots of different things okay um i might do a separate video on that at some point then of course we've got the classic there you go a lovely six mil screwdriver really super handy in urban environments okay it's got a slight bevel on there. I don't know if you can see that. So we can use that as a it's very light duty scraper. Okay, we can use it as a pry bar. Uh, use your finger and your thumb, of course, when you open up a small tin of paint or something like this, yeah? Okay, well, of course, with a nice little half stop there. We've got the wire former and stripper. Okay, and of course, there you go, the classic bottle opener, cap opener. All right, absolutely so, so useful for if you want a beer. So that's that. And then on the back of the tools, I think we've done everything there, haven't we? On the back, we've got the classic, there you go, the classic uh, wine bottle, uh, wine opener, okay, corkscrew. Good for undoing knots and lots of things, as we could do a video on some point. Um, as some of you probably know, 
Uh, what else we got? We got, of course, here we go. This pop this puppy open. We got a stitching all, which is super handy for making repairs every 10 or 12 mil in case you need to. Okay. Again, I should probably do a, another um, video on that sometime. Okay. This is also very good. Um, you know, some people call that the reamer, by the way, but this is also super handy. The hook, where it's carrying bags, when you've got shopping bags on cutting into your fingers, okay, you can use it to wind like a rubber band up or something like that. Lots of different things. If you've got um, a child's toy, there's lots of different things you can do with this, guys. Of course, you've got the 10 mil split ring or key ring, uh, key chain. They use that as an extra tool, don't they? You've got, of course, the see-through. There you go, with the Victorinox stamped on there. You got the classic tweezers, which are pretty good in a pinch, okay? And just pop her over, and you've got the classic twee um, toothpick, rather, okay? Nearly <laughs> forgot what it is. So there you go, guys. Excellent. Excellent tool. Um, overall, we've got a blade length of around seven centimeters, which is about two and three quarters of an inch. Um, about, I'd say, yeah, just looks just under actually so i'd say about two mil 1.8 something like 1.9 uh hold on off on let's put this do yeah so it's got 1.8 guys 1.8 mil okay or 0 0.07 of an inch there you go all right overall length is gonna be let's have a look let's put the back of it there there you go so we've got roughly 15 and a half centimeters okay which is about six and a quarter inches um closed of course it's 91 millimeters we all know that don't we uh which is basically three inches and three and five eighths okay now the the weight on this um it's not you know what the main thing for me i know that's under 100 grams there you go 97 grams okay um or 3.4 ounces now, I ideally, any EDC, it's got to be under 100 grams, ideally, okay? Unless it's um, a fixed blade and doing some bushcraft or something like that. So for me, this is a fantastic all-rounder. You can take it camping, have it on picnics, great for scouting. Um, certainly consider this for a scout. If you've got um, a son uh, in the scouts or cubs or, you know, especially scouts and that, certainly consider getting one of these. Great for scouting, fishing, climbing hiking it's your all-in-one edc with 15 tools guys um it's super hot yeah it is super practical it's quite functional obviously it's well made as as victorinox are it's reasonably compact okay for what you're getting for 15 tools guys it's uk legal exceptional value for money um at this price check out <laughs> honestly you wouldn't believe and they've got a discount on this at the moment so definitely worth considering and a few others i believe okay so it makes for a fantastic gifting tool for your birthday anniversary or a special occasion okay um so yeah i'd highly recommend this always would um of course you know my star rating is gonna be five stars not because the sentimental value that's i've got to take that off out of the equation it just is for what you're getting value for money fit and finish it's five stars guys so there you go. Thanks for watching. All prices and availability. See the links below. Show your support by giving us a like and by hitting that subscribe button, guys. And I'll see you next time. Stay sharp.